Hey there, this screencast is to help you learn the very basics of making a vinyl sticker, doing some of the most popular things that students like to do, bringing in an image from the internet and including some text. First thing you want to do is go to the file menu and import an image that you have selected and saved on your computer. I have an image that I saved earlier that I called Lion. Yeah, that's it right there. So I'm going to open that and I want to embed it into my document. Well, there it is. This image I can, if I wanted to print this right now, it would print, but if I wanted to make a vinyl sticker, it would not cut because I have to go in and create the vector information. I'll do that by going to Path and choosing the Trace Bitmap feature. You can change these parameters, but usually it's set up perfect for taking an image with dark contrasting and um, turning it into a black and white sticker. If I press Update, I'll see that something is going to come through here it never looks exactly like what it's going to. So I'm just going to click OK and X out of here. Notice now that I have a second image that I can remove from the first. I call this the ghost image, and it can be deleted. We're not going to use it anymore. And this is our actual vector image. Notice that if I change to the vector tab, that this guy has a bunch of squares and stuff on it, which we, which proves that I have successfully traced the bitmap and that I now have vector information. Notice while in the vector tab, if I scroll over, if I just hover over that image, these blue lines pop up showing me that I indeed have got myself some vectors in there. I'm going to zoom in on that image and you could see that now I've got some squares there that define some mathematical parameters. I can move this square and move these handles. The square is called an anchor. And these little nodes here are called handles. And change that. Why would I want to do that? I don't. I'm going to get undo that because it was lovely before. Now what I'm going to do is go up to Path and choose Break Apart. It's going to make all of these uh, separate little uh, shapes, separate pieces of information. So I'll be able to go in and select these items right there and just delete them. Of course, i got to go back to the Select tool to get it to delete. Great. Now I've just got my Lion image. It's nice and crisp and clear. If there were parts of this image that I didn't like, that didn't uh, trace uh, properly, I could select the vector tab and go in, zoom in, and manually change those vectors. But this looks pretty good to me. I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit so I can add some text. Oops, zoom out. All right, so I'm going to go to the text tool, and I'm going to type something. Lion cried. Selecting that text, I can now open up my text and font editor. One of the cool things about Inkscape is you can scroll through all these different text and see a, a sample of what it's going to look like. I have a lot of texts on my computer. Um, so that you can choose. I'm going to choose a nice chunky text because I know it's going to make it easier for me to weed this sticker. Now, notice that if I select my text, voila, I could still edit it if I want to, but if I put it in the vectors, notice how none of those lines are popping up. If I was to send this image to the vinyl cutter right now, the lion would cut. Oh, I can see the blue lines there, but the lion pride would not. In order to make this cut, I have to go up to the path menu and select object to path. That will assign those vectors. Now notice that when I hover over it, the blue lines shine, and if I select an individual letter, oh yeah, I've got vector information now. So if I was to send this information, this 
file to the vinyl cutter right now, I would get exactly what it looks like. Um, it's not exactly what I want though. I'm going to select that image. If I press control, I can make this larger without changing the aspect ratio, which is the width and the height will stay at the same proportion. Kind of like the way that looks right there. Now, one last thing I'm going to show you. If you go to object, align and distribute, you can um, center these things to make sure that they are going to, oops, before I do that, I better group this all together. It's going to make a mess. I better recombine that guy. And then I can select both of these by pressing the shift key while I select. And voila, now they're perfectly centered. This would make a nice sticker. Before you save this to a flash drive and attempt to cut it on the vinyl cutter, always put it in the vector tab and hover over to ensure that you see those bright highlighted outlines showing up. Then you can be sure that you've got vector information or by selecting there, where are my vectors? There we go. I can see that indeed I do have vector information. When I send this to the vinyl cutter, it'll cut. You're going to want to go to File, Save, and then save it either on the in the thaw space on your computer or on a flash drive. All of these files will eventually need to be saved to a flash drive and transferred to the computer that's attached to the vinyl cutter.